Another one of the traps of the shaitan is philosophy. It is amazing how many philosophers the uh, Ummah has produced in recent times. Before the philosophers were restricted to a number of people known by name, known the field they were in and what have you. Today every Facebook user has qualified to become an, you know, I don't know, from the elite of the philosophers. Not just the philosopher, no, high profile. So then, what, is, what does that mean? What does philosophy mean? It means that people try to justify why it's okay to go against the Quran and the Sunnah. Using all kinds of examples and all kinds of reasons and all kinds of means and continue to fetch and fetch for any statement of any scholar or any we anything in order to justify why it is okay for me to violate the Quran and the Sunnah. And you try to bring the information, the tr authentic tradition, and they will refute you, not with another evidence, because the scholars did that. The scholars would, would refute one another with adab, while following a particular mannerism in refutation. They weren't children like people are today. It's just about attacking the other and putting them down. This is not the way of the ulama. The ulama had adab in there, and the way they dealt with one another when they differed. But they differed with dalil. Dalil bi dalil. Today it's dalil bi aql. My, I think, I think that we can, you know, Islam is such and such and such. I believe that, you know, Allah would want us to do such and such and such. لا. That's a very dangerous approach. What do you mean you think and you believe? You, you and I have to go back to the Quran and the Sunnah. There's no intellect in there. You use your intellect to what? To understand the Quran and the Sunnah. This is fiqh. You're a faqih. Like the, the, the imams of the madhahib. They were fuqaha because they would get the Quran and the Sunnah and they will deduce usul from them and they will apply the conditions according to these usul. This is when they use their aql. They didn't use their aql in order to reject the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ, not deliberately. But today, many, many people are trapped by the shaitan by using philosophy to reject the Quran and the Sunnah. And many examples can be given, but time doesn't allow to give you. But you go on Facebook and you will see plenty of that. And while you're on Facebook, make sure that you do what is pleasing to Allah. And after you do 